Me da muchísimo gusto ver tantas personas aquí de todas las parroquias o representantes de tantas parroquias en la diócesis de Brownsville. Y quiero saludar a todos, especialmente a los que están en el segundo piso. ¿Cómo están? ¿Todo bien? <laughs> It's such a great joy to see so many representatives of the parishes throughout the diocese, the four counties of the great and beautiful Rio Grande Valley. En este valle, Cristo Jesús es el Rey. Y la Virgen Nuestra Madre. I know many of you have come in a special way to express your gratitude and affection and support for our priests. So. As we journey together in this life of faith that the Lord gives to us as a gift, a gift to share with one another. There are so many ways that we could speak about the great mysteries of Holy Week, but I think one of the most profound and important ways and things for us to keep in mind during this Mass and all of the great and holy celebrations that follow on Holy Thursday and Good Friday and the Easter Vigil and Sunday is that this is the week, this is the time when we as the body of the Christ, as the church, go back to the very sources of our life, which is to drink deeply from the love that is poured out by Christ Jesus, who gives himself to us in his body and his blood by his gift of himself on the cross and by the gift of himself in the everlasting life that comes to the resurrection. We come this week, and in a special way beginning tonight, to receive anew what only the Lord Jesus can give us, which is the strength, the healing, the life that allows us to share with him that anointing which comes from the Spirit. Son dos cosas principalmente que vamos a celebrar esta noche. Los sacerdotes van a renovar sus promesas delante del pueblo de Dios. Una promesa que se ofrece directamente a Dios, directamente a Jesucristo. Entonces son palabras solemnes, aunque sencillas, y también la bendición del Santo Crisma y de los Santos Olios. I would like to offer two simple thoughts about these two major aspects of this evening's solemn celebration. The blessing of the oils and the renovation or the renewal of our promises as priests and bishop, a promise made to the Lord Jesus to continue faithfully down the path that he has called us to. To be a member of the church is itself a great mystery because it's not just about choosing to be in the company of certain people. It's not just about seeking out the company of those who share our tastes or our perspective. It's not just about all that we decide, but rather it's a mystery of having been chosen and having been placed by the providence of a loving God together. Because the great mystery that pulls us into the body of Christ, which is the church, is the mystery of what we hold in common. The Spirit has anointed me. 
the prophet Isaiah said. In the Gospel of Luke, the Lord Jesus cites the text and he refers clearly to this text and says, it is fulfilled in your hearing, which is to say, in the presence of the Lord Jesus, we are in the presence of the Anointed One, the one who is, as St. John says, full of grace and truth. ¿De qué se trata la unción del Señor Jesús, sino que está lleno de la plenitud, de la gracia y la verdad de Dios? La unción, simbolizada por los santos óleos, pero la unción es una cosa espiritual. La presencia del Espíritu Santo en la vida de Jesús. The first great thing we have in common is that we all need what the Lord Jesus has. We all need his anointing. Because he is full of grace and truth, as St. John said, and that's his anointing. He comes amongst us as the one who's not only God come down from heaven and taking the form of a servant, but he is that man who is full of grace. That is, he shares with us his intimate love of God the Father. That's what, that's what he wants to give us. We must try to picture in our minds that the Lord Jesus is anointed by the Spirit, spoken of old in the prophecies and in the Psalms, as the oil, the perfumed oil, the chrism that flowed down the head and the beard of Aaron. It flows down his head to his body, and that's us. And who are we? We are the ones who need the anointing that the Lord Jesus wishes so much to share with us. That is his great desire to give us what he has, which is his love and his communion with the Father and his desire to share that love and communion with all of us. ¿Quiénes somos nosotros? Los necesitados, los pecadores, los pequeños delante de Dios, pero, pero realmente los llamados a recibir la unción que viene de la cabeza de la iglesia que es Cristo Jesús. This oil that anoints the head of Jesus, which is the Holy Spirit, and flows down onto his body, the church. In Christ Jesus, it is the sign of his kingship and of his messiahship and of his high priesthood. But when it flows down to us, it adapts itself to what we need. The oil that comes from the head of Christ and flows into the church gives specific gifts to each member of the church, each member of his body. And so sometimes the oil touches us, the oil that flows from the anointing of Christ Jesus onto us, sometimes it touches us as an oil that heals, because that's what we need. And so we will celebrate tonight the blessing of the oil of the sick, which our priests will use to bring that special grace that comes from the Holy Spirit, which comes from the Lord Jesus, that special touch of healing to console the sick, to give them spiritual strength, and to give their families the sure and confident hope that the Lord Jesus and his anointing is with those whom we love and yet who suffer. And sometimes this oil comes and it's a purifying oil. Sometimes we are in need of purification because we must never forget the Holy Spirit too is a flame and the flame purifies. And that's why we bless the oil of catechumens which purifies those preparing for baptism and which helps them to grow strong in the faith and in the hope and in the love we have received from this great high priest and King, who is Christ Jesus, anointed by the Holy Spirit. And if sometimes this oil touches the church, such as you, touches me as an oil that heals or an oil that purifies, it's always aimed to make us strong in Christ. So it must be an oil that also touches us to confirm us in the faith.
and hence the oil of chrism will be blessed. And not only will this oil be used to confirm adults and young people throughout the diocese to give them that special mission that comes from this great sacrament, but also it will be used to render strong those men who present themselves for ordination to the priesthood. It is an anointing. And it all flows from the anointing that Christ Jesus speaks about in tonight's gospel. The Holy Spirit that fills the human heart of Jesus and that anointing which he wishes to give to us. But let us never forget that the first great thing that we all hold in common it's not what language we speak, it's not where we were born, it's not what we like to eat for dinner. It is we all need the anointing that comes from the Lord Jesus. He is the one who pulls us together, and He is the one who purifies, heals, and strengthens. Precisamente necesitamos nosotros reconocer que profundamente nuestra identidad se, se concentra en este reconocimiento que nosotros necesitamos lo que el Señor Jesús nos ofrece. La unción del Espíritu Santo purificando, sanando, dando fuerza a cada miembro de la Iglesia. But there is a second thing, and I only have two. Los padres dicen, ooh, gracias a Dios. <laughs> to be a member of the church, it's not exactly about just being around the people we know or like. It is a deeper mystery. The first part is about the fact that what we all have in common is our common need for the Lord Jesus, which is why we all stand in front of him in need of what he gives us from his altar. But the second great thing that holds us together, that makes it so essential that we all be ministers of communion, is the fact that somos de la misma sangre, it's very difficult to translate exactly. We are the same, the same blood runs through our veins. Y hablo de la, de la sangre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor. The unity and the beauty of the church is that we all are bound together by the fact that the same blood does course through our veins. We are sanctified and made holy by the fact that the Lord Jesus offers himself in his body and his blood and he makes us recipients of that great gift. And that's why everyone in Christ is a brother and sister. Porque somos de la misma sangre. Y es la sangre de Jesús. And that's why to be a member of Christ's church is to be privileged to recognize the truth about ourselves, which is that we need Him. All of us, sin excepción, empezando con el obispo, Lo necesitamos. Y el vínculo del amor que nos llama en nuestras conciencias a seguir el camino juntos es el vínculo que hemos recibido en haber recibido la sangre del Señor. Porque somos hermanos y hermanas en Cristo Jesús. Porque Él es el hermano mayor que daramos su sangre para rescatar sus hermanitos y sus hermanitas, que somos nosotros. And in that sense, as the priests prepare themselves to renew their promises before Almighty God to continue faithfully to be ministers of Christ Jesus to his people, it is good for us to all understand in the church that the mystery and the ministry of the priesthood is to be a minister of the blood of Christ that is meant to hold us together and is meant to create a communion that's not only about what we want, it's only about, not only about 
what our personal tastes or personal preferences are, but about being called and anointed and placed in this body por la voluntad de Dios. And so we are ministers of communion because we are, for the very reason that we are ministers of His blood. That's who we are. Uh, tan pequeños que somos, pero that's who we are. Sometimes when I think about the priesthood and the scriptures, I think maybe one of the best examples from scriptures to what it is for us to be a priest is to realize that, that in the parable of the Good Samaritan, when the Good Samaritan, who is Christ Jesus, who comes down from heaven and who saves the man who's half dead by the side of the road, and that's us, the parable says that then the Good Samaritan took the wounded man and took him to an inn and left him and gave some money, two coins, to the innkeeper. El dueño del alojamiento recibió del Señor Jesús dos monedas para curar el pobre herido. Yo creo que nosotros somos ese pequeño que se quedó cuidando del herido. Que en las Escrituras ni tiene nombre, pero el servicio que Jesús entregó a ese Señor era el servicio de curar al pobre que estaba lastimado. No con nuestros propios recursos, porque el Señor le dejó los dos, las dos monedas por los sacramentos y la predicación del Evangelio, nosotros tratamos de curar con los recursos de Jesucristo. Curar a su pueblo, curar a nuestros hermanos, porque el Señor nos ha confiado esta misión. Somos pequeños delante de Dios pero el Señor nos ha confiado una misión bastante importante. For we are the ones who are confided by the Lord, like the innkeeper was, to care for the one who is left half dead by the side of the road and to restore him to health, to restore her to health by the preaching of the gospel and the celebration of the sacraments. And that's why when we bless these oils tonight and after the procession ends and we begin to distribute the oil, it's not so much that you see the bishop giving you the oil, no. Well, you're so pequeño. It is the Lord Jesus who gives you his resources and he says, take care of my people with what I give you. Preach the gospel, touch the sick, purify the, those to be baptized, Prepare those to be confirmed and make my body, the church, strong. Strong in faith, strong in hope, strong in love. Because in the end, and none of us know how long we have to serve him, in the end, he will ask of us, did you help my people become holy? and we are his servants. And tonight, as we draw close to the source of our strength, we say, Lord, help us to make your people holy. Not on account of our resources, but because of that anointing which you share with us and we share with those in need. Que Dios, que Dios siga bendiciendo a todas nuestras parroquias, todos nuestros filigreses, todos nuestros sacerdotes. Y que el Señor Dios levante de nuestras familias más sacerdotes para seguir este camino como servidores de Jesucristo, nuestro Señor. Amén.